Mac Mac Marbles. We're up to the very last lesson in this unit and in these two problems, we're gonna see if a service price or sales price can be changed more than once. And we've tried this out in different ways, but this problem will have a different nuance to it. Denise went to Shake Shack because she had a 10% coupon. So that's the reason to go. She's gonna save some money. Her meal was $21.65 before the cope. She paid 7.25% sales tax on her meal. How much did she spend? So we want to know the cost after a discount and a tax. So this is the nuance. She has a price decrease and an increase. And so this order really matters. We have the discount happening and then a tax. So what do we know? We know the original cost. And we know that there is a 10% discount, which is 10% off is like 90% of the cost. And we know that there is a second percent change and an increase of 7.25%. But this will be of the new price. So I'm not getting 7 and 0.25% of 21.65. They're gonna add the tax to the new discounted price, okay? Because taxes are added after the discount. This is different than with tip. With tip, we find the percentage of the meal and a tax, a percentage of the meal. We find those two numbers separately. Here, I have to do it in this order. I have to find a discount first, and then we add the tax of that amount. So let's look. I'm gonna perform math twice to find the cost of discount, and again, to add the tax. We're gonna find 90% of the cost to represent the discount. I know that that is a discount because it's less than 100%. And then we're going to find 107.25% of that new discounted price. So that's how we're gonna find the tax in one step. What I'm looking to do is really take a problem that might have four steps and be very long, and I might have a lot of errors and make it shorter and more efficient, okay? So this is what's gonna give me the final amount. Hit pause so you can jot this down. All right, there are two things happening here. First, we're gonna find out how much she saves. So $21.65, and then we're gonna go down 10%. And then we're gonna have an increase. We're gonna go up in price 7.25%. So all on the same thing. So we're gonna do it in that order. There we go, so we have both processes. All right, so let's start with the first one we have 21.65, that's 100%, and her price is gonna go down 10%. So I just wanna find 90% of that number. That's all we're gonna find out. So I can do it in one step, so I have 100N is equal to 90 times 21.65. And that is going to give us 1,948 and 5 tenths. So we're going to divide both by 100. And our new price is going to be $19.485. Whoop, whoop, so I'm going to round up to 49 cents. So instead of 48 cents, it's going to round up to 49 cents. So that's our new price after she got 10% off. So that's pretty good, she saved a few bucks. Um, but now we gotta add sales tax to that. So we're gonna put our 1949, and we're gonna add 7.25% to that. That's gonna be our new price. So the 100N is always the easiest one, right? So here's our long number, which I'm definitely using a calculator for and I get that's not too bad 2090.302 okay and you know we're going to divide this by 100 and that's going to be 20 dollars and 90 it's not going to go to 91 cents because it's 903 so it's just going to stay at 90 cents After her discount, plus 
packs. Not bad, Math Marvels. We have one more problem to do in this unit. So hit pause so you can jot this down and we have one more guided practice. And another very, very real scenario going out to dinner. Chris went out to dinner with his mom for her birthday and the meal was $42.82 before tax and tip. He tipped the waiter 18% and paid 6.5% on the taxes of the meal. How much did he spend on the dinner? So we want to know the cost of the dinner, the total cost after 2% changes, a tax and a tip. And these are both percent increases. We know the original cost. And in this case, we're going to figure out the tax and tip separately. That is how it's done in restaurants. They, when you are doing the tip, you look at how much the food costs and you find you make your tip based on that. So if you're giving a 15% tip, it's 15% of that meal. If they did really well, you might give a higher tip. And the tax is also done based on the meal. And we know how much the tip is, we know how much the tax is, and these are both increases. So watch what we're gonna do here. We're gonna use math twice to find the tax and the tip. But I'm only gonna use 6.5% to find the tax because I don't wanna add tax and tip in one step here. And the challenge is, if I were to find 106.5% for the tax and 100 and 18% for the tip, I'm doing some repeated math in the problem. And we're gonna have an error. So we're gonna find the tax and tip as separate amounts. We're gonna look for the change. And then once we find those two numbers, we're gonna add all three amounts together. The original cost, the tax, and the tip to find out how much he spends on dinner. All right, hit pause so you can jot this down and let's see it in action. All right, here's our last problem in this unit for guided practice. And again, we have two things happening. We have the price of the meal, and we're gonna add a tip and tax. But these are both percentages of this number. So when you're figuring out the tip, we're figuring out 18% of what you spent. When they do the tax, it's on what you spent. So we're gonna find these two separate numbers and add them to 4282 later. So let's start with the first one. So in both, I'm going to have 4282. And 100, 100. We just want to know 18% because that's all the piece we want. And in the second one, we just want 6.5%. So we want the pieces and we're going to add them up at the end. So this is going to be N is our tax. This is our tip. We already know it's going to be 100 N is equal to 18 times 42.82. And that gives us 770.76 divided by 100. N is equal to $7.71. So that's how much tip she would pay. All right here we have 100 M is equal to 6.5 times 42.82 and I get 278.33 and we're going to divide this by 100 and our tax is equal to $2.78 all right, so that leaves our last step, which is to add all of these numbers together. So let's add tax and tip first. 771 plus 278, $10.49. And let's add $10.49 plus 42.82. So our total cost would be $53.31. So Chris will pay $53.31.
that's dinner with tax and tip and just because we want to make sure people can see where those numbers came from let's make sure we add it in there so they can see it 4282 plus those numbers give us 5331 so that's it math marbles it's a lot of space a lot of work but please take your time we're going to learn some new efficient ways and some new ways of thinking about these problems in our next unit in expressions and equations can't wait to see you in a new one take care